Right, everybody, it's Daniel Lid back with a pre purchase final overview, everything you should know, and the reason why you should have that idea down pack. If you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel Lid. I help pet e com food brands to get to that sweet six figure with their email marketing. And I'm using Klaviyo specifically because I think this is just the best tool uh, when it comes to Shopify, when it comes to email marketing. So that being said, let's dive into this and I'll show you uh, like what pre-purchase funnel looks like. So the first thing we need to understand that, um, well, let's just, let's talk about the, the traffic first, right? So what is the traffic? The traffic is where all your leads, leads, I mean, your potential buyers, right, come from. So. Could be Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google, TikTok, Snapchat, influencers, right? They might heard of you, they might click the ads, this and that, right? Depends on when you drive them. But if this is like, if your brand is just like rattling around them, um, you need to like kind of know that your lead sometimes just go on Google and type your um, business domain and they go into your site and they just basically looking around, right? They're looking around. So, and again, the first thing that they hit if you set up your site properly, I hope, is the home page. It's the home page. I'm not the best at geometry, but uh, it's not it's not a trapezoid. <laughs> so uh, the first thing that the uh, the first the first page that they hit is the home page, and the home page is that page that contains just the products, right? Collections, some something about your brand, right? Just basically, you know, welcome them to that door uh, and uh, embrace them to your brand, right? So, uh, the reason I'm talking about this is because you need, you know, the, the pre purchase is not only about card abandonment, right? Oh, you know, set up a card abandonment. It's not about that. It's, it's the whole funnel here, right? And, and for that matter, right, with the homepage, once they hit the homepage and they're just looking around, they're not clicking the view products or the, 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 you know, they might give you their email. They might give you their email, but they're still like looking around. They're not like, they're not buying anything, they're just looking, right? They're just looking, you, you, you know, you hit them with a the pop-up, hey, 10% off, or hey, 50% off, or hey, free shipping, or, you know, get your $20 uh, off, right? By the way, as I talked before in my videos, I mean, previous video, that the dollar write off, the dollar, um, the amount of dollars off is way, it performs way better as an incentive for, you know, compared to, compared to uh, just percentage off, like, like a discount off. So that being said, right, you hit them with a pop-up, right? They give you their email. And so now, you know, they, okay, they put their email, but they still look on the homepage, they're not buying anything. And so if, if they if they are, you would hit them with this flow, which is called active on site. Nobody is like utilizing that. I don't see like brands often utilizing that, but uh, it's really, it's pretty important because it can drive you like revenue. I saw, I saw this flow, particularly just active on site, right? generated like seven thousand dollars just seven thousand dollars right because yeah people can decide sometimes like your website you know might just suck but if you have a like pretty good website if you're not overwhelming people with like too many products right out of the bed right um if you just kind of highlight what's the best you know what we should buy or like just like one core product of your brand right people can decide pretty easier uh, like way easier, but sometimes it just can you know They just like want to buy like the toothbrush for their dog. They want to buy like freaking, you know dental sticks they, they just like I mean, they don't know they just they just like browsing around again May it's not might not be your fault uh, It's just like them not were being indecisive, right? So that's flow specifically for them and contains five filters here, right? The view product zero times since starting this flow and what i mean by that is they did not they they the browsing around collection they're viewing the products but they're not click on the product itself right it's just like going on amazon you're just going through a listing but you're not clicking specifically you are just active on site you're not browsing anything you're just active on site that's what this mean right um so you want to keep people away from you want to keep them out off view product because again it's a different flow which is called browse browse minimum but we'll talk about this later checkout started of course you know you don't want to include anybody who started checkout place order the same thing not being this flow in any time really important right you don't hit people like with the same flow if they view the product because you know it'll annoy them even though uh Clavio has this like smart sending basically you know it doesn't hit people too often with emails if they you know receive some campaigns from you uh it'll not hit them with another campaign within 16 hours just to not bother them uh, and iterate them. And basically like, you know, 
trust me, GSP will find uh, the way to penalize you. Add to card the same thing. They did not add to card because again, it's not the funnel um, that they should place on, right? Basically, you know, the same idea of like with Facebook, right? The, you know, you're prospecting, you know, re-engagement, remarketing, the same thing with emails, but just more flexible because you can play around a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler, right? So uh, for that matter, right, a homepage, again, I wanna reiterate this a little bit. Let's just actually make it a little bit thicker. Um, it's called site abandonment. That's the flow for them. They on the page, they're just browsing around. You hit them with site abandonment. Now, uh, the second one is the second one is browse abandonment. I just talked about the okay, that's not a trapezoid again. I'm not pretty good at geometry or drawing <laughs> that's not um, I don't know so let, okay, let, let's not get fancy here I don't want to waste your time because you're pretty busy so uh, that's what I mean by collection or the or the product it's basically when they hit collection right once they hit collect when, once they click on the product right once they click on that specific product they then uh, will be hit by browse abandonment. And I just say AB, just to, you know, not uh, drag that on too long. So browse abandonment, basically browse abandonment is they view the product, specific product, right? And Clavio is pretty cool. Uh, it does like this event URL link. So basically if, you, if they view the product, if you install that snippet uh, right, basically um, if you like, um, connect your Clavio account with the Shopify account properly. Uh, it'll basically, you know, populate that image of that specific product on their email based on what product they viewed before, specifically for them. So this is actually a pretty cool feature. Uh, and uh, again, some filters for it would be checkout started zero times. So you know, somebody who hasn't started checkout, basically it's like exclusion, right? So you want to exclude people. And uh, here's like a little important thing here: uh, hasn't been in this flow for 14 days. So what, it, what does it mean is that people can, they can browse on site, right? They can click products, which is, we'll get into that browse abandonment, right? Um, you know, they see the product, love the site, they came back, okay, if you do another, another product, you want to hit them like with a different flows, right? So you don't want to iterate people, you know, you don't want to like irritate them, you know, piss them off, right? So that's why you should, um, you know, send this flow maybe once in a 14 days. I sometimes people send this like once in a 30 days, but if you want to be like pretty much aggressive, uh, I would recommend 14 days. Add it to cards zero times, pretty self explanatory again. It's like uh, those those uh, filters work as inclusion, uh, exclusions. Just work, just think of them as exclusions, you know. So the, uh, the third one would be something that you're probably familiar with. And this is, um, okay, let's just pretty this up a little bit. And this one is add to card, right? So add to card, pretty self-explanatory, right? So they add it to card uh, and then we hit them with like add to card to card abandonment. I just like gonna short shortcut that a little bit. So. Once you hit them with the card, uh, abandoned card abandonment, basically you'll be hit. You'll be hitting everybody who add to card, pretty self mentor right? Excluding everybody who has to start checkout, right? Or place an order or add it to card uh, zero. The reason I do this is because like you don't want people who add uh, to card too many times because it's the, another flow. Because again, um, you know, if people add card more than two times you want to basically put them on the vip list and you can make way more money with them because you need to like kind of segment those people really important and the same uh, uh last for with 14 days flow pretty much so explanatory now the last one i don't know people why you're not utilizing or mixed it up but it's pretty easy to miss but it's called checkout let's pretend this is trapezoid fuck it uh so check out what is a checkout you know what checkout is but it is really different from add to card. People mix it up. People think that this, this is the same thing, but it's not. It, it is really not because they actually closer to the funnel, right? They they might add to card, but if the checkout, right? I mean, if they mid checkout, the checkout meaning that they mid checkout, right? Just a little step, just just twenty percent, and they'll buy this thing. They'll buy this thing, and then you can start thanking them, right? With with a different flow. But basically, what this is uh, is that 
uh, you see a bit of so here's the thing here's the thing with this uh, with this with this flow Clavio for some reason does not or make it super super weird for you know users it basically tells that abandoned card uh and then it basically fires like the, the the checkout started flow but it's actually wrong and in order to prevent that you need to go to back and you need to like install that specific snippet of code onto your website right so basically go into your you know i'm not going to do this right now i'll do this in the later videos but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh shopify store you go to your theme edit code uh, product liquid and you want to install you want to install that snippet of code properly so that you can uh, have that metric added to cart and so that you can uh, fire properly. It's not installed by default because, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, stores are different. Sometimes, you know, it fires just on that snippet of code. Sometimes it fires on ID. Sometimes it fires just on like that, um, what's that called? I don't know. If you know anything about HTML, you would know this. Uh, I'm not like a coder or anything, but there's an ID and there's something else. I forgot what it is, like, uh, what whatever right so just like something with code they, they just cannot install that thing but it's, but by default they start the um if you go like and install add, add to cart it'll be like fired off of checkout started but it's wrong you don't want to do that because checkout started which should be che should be fired off with checkout started and so when they start checkout you know you want to uh, uh, include everybody who checkout started and uh everybody who placed an order you want to ex exclude so pretty self-explanatory here I know it's a little bit weird, but that's like how Clavio does that. Uh, and uh, I'll have other videos on how to fix this, because if you don't fix this, like you aft 100%. So uh, check out started, you know, check out pretty simple, right? I uh, check out a Benjamin. This, yeah, it's called check out a Benjamin. So pretty much that's basically, that's the whole funnel, right? So you have a homepage, you have a collection, you have an add to cart and you have a, a checkout. So by the way, one last thing to mention here is that when you like uh, want to check if those metrics are, uh, you know, those snippets and those uh, metrics are, you know, firing off properly, you would go, for example, here on analytics right so i mean of course you would uh, pop out your site right like this right so this is like mine again this is a dummy story when i'm selling you know the doc treats but again it's just like a little dummy story that i set it up uh yesterday but what you want to do here is you want to hit metric metrics and then if you want to for example uh check the first flow right if, if, if it fires off properly uh you would um go here and you will hit active on site because again we're with this flow we're checking everybody who's active on site but do not view the product we will go uh, active on site right and we would see that i just hit my site and it, it will populate here that i just enter now okay uh Calavio is clearly acting up because it's it's not right because i, I just been on site but sometimes it's just acting up like like this but uh I don't think it'll it'll with you, but we still you still gonna check. So, uh, what you wanna do after that is, for example, okay, let's just see view the product. So view the product again. If you remember, um, when, once they view the product, they'll be corresponding to that uh, browse abandonment flow, right? So once they view the product, that browse abandonment flow will hit them. And so once they hit them, they will go so active on site, right? And so view the product as you can see here uh oops if i view the product for example let's just say uh treats with salmon color salmon flavor if i view the product right uh it would get me to that product page and if i go to the back to the back to the metrics you see the last one i 37 minutes ago if i hit refresh it would show on that you see just now i added to the product right to that product and if i want to add to card right so let's just go to a betterment card right so this is another flow and to see if that metric that you set up this stats number of code if you set it up properly you would go to analytics you would go to add to cart as a metric again uh this metric wouldn't pop up anyway if you do not set it up properly so if it doesn't pop up anyway you need to really recheck your code snippet because sometimes you know it, it's like a little different from some uh, from some stores um because some some you know work with a id kind of thing or some work with like, as I said, like, I don't, I don't remember the HTML kind of terms, but it's just something with snippets. But again, I'll, I'll link up actually the Clevio, um, I'll link up the Clevio uh, article on it. But again, don't worry about it. 
because I'll make a separate video how to like install all the snippets, like view the product, uh, you know, active on site, add to cart, all those metrics. Because you know, it's not that hard, but it's just like a little bit messy with Shopify. I, I don't know why. Because again, every Shopify is different. So, for example, here, add it to cart. Uh, last time it was uh, 37 minutes ago. But if I add to cart right now, like this, right? I view my card. I added this product, treat seven, right? I can go again, uh, add to cart metric, right? And I can hit refresh. Last one 37 minutes ago, and the one that I just that I uh, that I just did now, populated. And actually, you can even see the details. And let's just see. Okay, treat seven, verify seven. Everything works, right? The same thing you would do with checkout, but um, again, as I said, I just set it up the store, like a diamond store. It's not like on the pay plan. I'm, I'm still um, like at eight days in a free plan. So it does not, you know, allow you to check out here. But what well, for you though, the the way you would, uh, you know, check out your, the, the way you would check your checkout metric is you would go see all metrics, right? I'm talking about this one, right? Checkout started, right? Uh, been at checkout. You go to your metrics, you would uh, find this metrics called checkout started, and then you would see, uh, you know, you would add to checkout on your own site, right, yourself, and then you would see uh, if it populated in this tab activity feed. So that's basically it, guys. Uh, that's like a little overview of this whole funnel, right? So um, let's just go over it again. Homepage, site abandonment, collection, or, you know, once they hit the product, browse abandonment, right? Uh, add to card card abandonment check out check out abandonment in the later videos i will go over specifically for each um for each step of the funnel and how to you know come up with great copy how to come up with a flow because again each funnel each that uh, each flow has a different emails uh that will go into you know some delays um you know i will go over you know the uh, conditional slip between one day or two days what performs better uh, how to test how to a b um, you know a b split test things I'll go over on creative what you should be, you know, looking at. I'll give you some examples with the good pet brands that are crushing it uh, with email marketing, with specifically with Clavio, so that your pet brand uh, could make, you know, a lot of money from, uh, you know, uh, email marketing and basically, you know, uh, bring the joy to those pet owners, to their pets, and keep them healthy. I hope you sell good products. And so that being said, it was Daniel Lit, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to be going over. Side of Benjamin. I'll see you there.